and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide. Today, we got the Team of the Week. So, obviously, the Team of the Week will be dropping in about usually between 1 and 2 p.m. Eastern, depending on the time frame of when they drop it. I forget which one because they've done both this year, so I get confused in the time frame. But they are doing the special stream at 10.30, obviously. So, you know, every 10.30, I like to go over all the Team of the Weeks, the set pieces, the set masters, and or set bosses, the offensive boss, defensive boss, or hero and the limited time player so there's some predictions we obviously have i'm about to go check them out all later i if you guys want me to start doing prediction videos please comment down below i have not done any prediction videos yet although i've been told to do them by a few people my as far as the subs i've not heard you guys say but if you'd like i can start doing those every monday for you guys i just wasn't sure how interested you'd be in it but obviously we got a lot to go over we got all the set pieces about like 10 of those we got the two heroes and we're gonna have the limited time so we gotta get into all that so guys before we get into this video make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell come join the family boys Team of the Week Tuesday, boys. Come join now. Get on in early. Comment down below, like I said, if you guys want to start seeing Team of the Week predictions. And who are your predictions for these? Before I say anything, you uh, it's probably the title. All right, don't guess. You're going to look smart then. And also, make sure to go down below. Hit that like button, boys. Make sure to run the like button up. All the loyal fans, all the supporters, all the OGs, always run the like button up. It means a lot. Helps out the channel a lot. Now, let's head on over to Twitter or the stream pictures whatever i ended up doing so you guys can see all of the parts right, guys we got the set pieces here um this team of the week was at first really underwhelming and then they dropped a banger card as you guys can see by the title i'm super hype yes you guys saw that on the title probably but i don't want to talk about it yet in case you didn't i don't want to spoil it so coming over first let's zoom in a little bit so we can see this more properly hunter renfro 81 speed 80 jumping the rest of the stats are ass obviously i never spend too much time on these cards because they're never that great jacob hollister 79 speed 762 strength this card is the, even this is probably better than mercedes lewis but he's still disgusting jaheel ade oh 78 speed 81 excel 80 hit power mm, again not a useful card christian wilkins 81 strength is only card above like a 75 that card's horrible let's head back on over to this side kenny moore cornerback 83 speed 88 jumping 80 play rec 85 excel 84 agility he has the stats of a uh, budget beast running back not a cornerback preston williams 86 speed 86 jumping 82 catching 80 catching traffic 85 spectacular catch okay this card's not horrible would i use it no but it's not disgusting michael kendricks the old school madden old, the older madden budget beast 82 speed 83 excel 81 tackle the card's decent at best Again, these pieces, I, these are such underwhelming pieces. I missed back when we got like Marquise Brown and John Brown's DK Metcalf. Those cards are fire, but these cards, 84 speed Mike Williams, 83 catching, not useful here again. Let's head over to the next piece. We got Bud Dupree. Bud Dupree, outside linebacker, 87, usually known for the most feared promo. 85 speed for an outside linebacker, not bad. 87 Excel, 85 play rec, but he can't pass rush and he really can't block shed too well, which does kind of suck. So I'm probably out on this card. Would I recommend him? Not really. Six foot four. I guess it all depends on his zone coverage. Although I do not think his zone coverage will be that great, quite honestly. So I wouldn't entirely be too excited about it. But that would be the only thing that could save this card. Next on the list, we got Jimmy G. Jimmy Garoppolo, six foot two. He did have a hell of a game. So I don't even knock him for putting him here. I think he had four touchdowns, 71 speed, decent, 87 throw power, not bad, 88 short, good, 88 mid, too low, 88, 82 deep, low. 83 under pressure low, 82 throw on the run low, and 84 play action low. Pretty much his, his card's ass. Because although the short was promising, everything else, he has the make, he has the pass, he has the worst passing on Lamar Jackson, but way less speed. I can't really recommend this card. That's kind of an underrated card. Not that he's playing amazing in real life, but if you're going to give him an 87, I mean, he is an 87, but his card should have been slightly better. I mean, he has no stats above like an 86. Besides these two stats, everything else is like low 83s, 84s. Next on the list, we got 86. Devin Singletary, rookie running back for the Buffalo Bills. He's pretty great. He's been playing behind Gore. He's been hurt a little bit this season, but he's been really, really good when he has touches, although they've been limited. 85 speed. He finally broke loose this week. 88 excel, 89 agility, 87 carrying, 57 catching, 81 break tackle. Car's not that bad. Not too great. He's more of a one cut running back in real life. He's very elusive. Eh, he's very elusive in real life. Although I think that he could have a little bit of better elusiveness and trucking, but it is what it is. This card's okay. Nothing that we're obviously going to be like ecstatic to use. But guys, I'm pretty sure it's the next card that's about to be shown. This card is a monster. I'm super hyped. Tyree Kill, as you guys know. You guys read the title. Hopefully, it's the next one. It'll look dumb. Tyree Kill, the cheetah. Guys, bear with me. So, I had a video today, right? It's going up probably around like 5 o'clock. In the video, I say, guys, I anticipate a Tyree Kill will be getting a banger card soon. 
I recommend you pick up his power ups and his base elites. And um, yeah, so when you guys see that, don't think I'm stupid. And I saw this and I made that video. No, no, that video was made prior, and you could see by the if you could. No, no, there's no timestamp, but you you'll, you'll know it was made before there was even a Tyreek kill in the game. I'm about to go power this one up. His power probably skyrocketed up. So hopefully you guys had him ready. 94 speed, 89 jumping. Let me let me see McCole Harbin real quick. See the comparisons. He must be better than McCole Harbin at least. Let's see. So same speed, better jumping on Tyreek, worse catching on McCole. Oh, similar catching. About the same catching on McCole Hardman. They have almost the same exact catching stats, except McCole Hardman's actually a better catcher overall. But Tyreek Hill's only a better deep route runner. Pretty much McCole Hardman and Tyreek Hill are identical clones. It all depends on Tyreek Hill's after the catch stats, but I'll be honest with you guys, if his beat press isn't amazing or out of his other stats are amazing, Tyreek Hill is no better than McCole Hardman. McCole Hardman has better catching, same speed. Only thing worse is the deep route running, which I guess you want on Tyreek, but I'm gonna have to look into this. Although obviously I want a Tyreek Hill card. And when you do power up Tyreek, you will get to a 95 speed. So like I said in my video also today, I said he was going to have a 95 speed. So there you go. I'm the Oracle. You'll see it later. Next on the list, we got Marlon Humphrey. We obviously saw this last time on Twitter. If you guys follow me over on there, if you guys have Madden Twitter, you already know. That's where these are. Some, there's always one post the night before. We got 91 speed, 92 excel, 87 agility, 85 jumping, 88 play rec, 87 man, 82 zone, 87 press. So the card's decent. Good speed, good excel, decent agility. But the man and zone are too low. Even if you powered and kept him up, you'd only get the man and play rec threshold and the press, actually. But his zone would be a little low. He kind of looks like a very a very toned down Dion minus the after the ball stats. But on the card stats, if you did power him up, he would look similar to a powered up, like a regular 91 Dion. Although, I'd much rather have Dion on my team. And then lastly... On the list, we have Brennan Scarlett, 92 overall left outside linebacker for the Houston Texans. This is unexpected. I hope you guys, you guys probably don't even know this guy's name, so it's going to be pretty interesting to put him in the title. 82 speed, 6 foot 4, 90 acceleration, 81 strength, 90 tackle, 87 play rec, 91 block shed, 90, 82 power move, and 67 finesse move. So the power move is decent, so he's a decent pass rusher, not really. Uh, block shed is good, so he's a, he's a good run stuffer. 90 tackle, 91 block shed, 87 play rec. 90 acceleration gonna be a pretty good run stuffer most likely uh, i don't know what his zone will be maybe that will save this card but this card's not looking too great too slow of speed it's like a wannabe von miller minus the the, the like the pass rushing so i can't really recommend this card guys now personally would i pick up the tyree kill or any of these cards uh tyree kill is great i'll probably end up picking him up because he's tyree kill when you power up have a 95 speed which is very useful although you're gonna have this card probably gonna be crazy expensive at first so you're gonna have to wait a little bit on that one i believe his power up is in game i'm gonna go head on over to the man screen to show you guys that real quick oh and one last thing there was a guy that was announced i don't know if it was like mac wilson or something there was one team of the week card that was announced that was supposed to still be in this but they did announce him out of it, so you'll see that if you watch the stream. I can't really explain it, but I'm going to head over to the man screen. All right, guys, so back in the man screen with my lineup. I'm going to show you guys real quick Tyree Kill's brand new power-up. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think you can get up to the overall already. Typically, they do stuff like that. Let's see, I don't have enough training to do it. No, he cannot. So he's not actually in the, the database yet because sometimes the morning of, but I forget, uh, Team of the Week drop around like one or two. So you will not see that yet, but this Tyree Kill's going to be a monster. I recommend you guys go pick up his power up. He's probably a little expensive right now. Let's see. Power up Tyree Kill. Let's see what his price is looking like. Oh, he's going for 66k. Yeah, he's gonna be around the 60k to 80k range, depending. Uh, he might even come down a little bit at some point once people get off the hype. So powered up, he's gonna be very similar to McCole Hardman to show you guys what I meant real quick. I want to show you that. McCole Hardman right here. He's looking like looking very similar. Like besides deep route running, that's really about it. And then you can power him up and get abilities on him. I guess it all depends on the abilities. That Tyra Kill can get. That's kind of a big deal. But guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are into the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Come join the family. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you that come join every day. So let's keep it going, boys. And if you haven't already, make sure to go down below. Comment what you guys think of these cards. Will you be picking up Tyra Kill? And what do you think he's gonna go for? I'm guessing off the rip, he'll probably go for like easy 450k off the rip. And he'll probably come down to about 300 k at some point, which then I'll buy him. But Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the videos. If you have, give this video a big thumbs up, especially this one. Guys, I appreciate all of you guys that come out every 1030 with Nodi Bell on and come and watch every day. So thank you for all that. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And don't think I forgot about the haircut light goal, guys. I should be getting one today, hopefully, or tomorrow. I know you guys, it's been a big deal for you guys. I definitely need one. The hair's getting a little wild, guys. But that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. And like I said, if you remember what I'm talking about, don't roast me on the video where I clearly talk about Tyreek Hill for five minutes and he came out now. Guys, that was prior. You can tell that. But as always, I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.